Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, let's discuss about the different views which are provided by O217 inside the sales module. So once you open the sales module, you will get the quotations there, right? So quotations is actually viewed or I mean listed as a list view. So if you just take a look at the top right corner of the screen, you'll get so much views there. These are all the views which are provided by O217. So we have views like the list view, the Kanban view, the map view, the pivot view, the graph view and so on. Okay, so let's move on to the module and see what are the different views and how each of them looks like. Let's take a look at the different views which is provided by the sale module of Odoo 70. So here once you open the sales module you can see the quotations which are currently in list view. Now if you just take a look at the top right corner you have different views which is provided by Odoo. So we have views like the list view, the Kanban view, the calendar view, the pivot view, the graph view and also the activities. Okay, so these are the different views and here as you can see the quotations are currently in list view. Okay, and in this list view you have different details. Okay, so let's see what the details are. So you have the, as you know, you have the sale order reference number, creation date, customer, website, salesperson, activities, company, total and also the status so that's the uh, list view now let's switch on to the Kanban view so I'm clicking on Kanban and here you can see the card like view of quotation so for each card you have the name the sale order reference the name uh, I mean the date the time the total and also the status now if you just take a look for each card you have so much details so that's the Kanban view of the quotations and then you have the calendar view so it basically it shows a calendar and corresponding to a date the scheduled or the confirmed sale orders and quotations and all can be seen. As you can see, all of them are in different color and each of these color denotes to different statuses. Okay. So here you can see the sale order, quotations and quotation and all which are different status and these are all in different colors. Okay. So those colors are actually denoted inside the, um, you know, calendar. Okay. So that's it. Now, if you want, you can change it. So if you want to uh, view the quotations based on day, you can choose day there. So for a single day, the data will be shown. And if you want to see it based on week, weekly basis, or even annual basis, you have the option to do that. Now, if you want to go uh, to the previous year or previous month or previous day, week, whatever it is, you have the previous button over there. And also you have the next icon over there through which you can, um, you know, choose the next day or year, whatever it is. Okay. So next we have the pivot uh, view, which is actually a table like view. So here you have so much options and also you have the option to add measures. So you can flip axis from here and you have the option to expand all. Okay, expanding can be done and also you can download the Excel S6 file. Now, if you want to insert this into spreadsheet, simply click on insert in spreadsheet and you can either put it into a blank spreadsheet or even a, you know, pre-created one. So I'm choosing blank one and confirming it. So click on confirm and once you confirm it, you can see new spreadsheet created in documents. Okay, so that's done. So this is how you insert it into a spreadsheet going back to quotations. So in quotations, um, you can see the table and as I said before, we have measures over here. So for this pivot table, you can add multiple measures. So I'm adding margin as you can see, your margin has been added. If I add monthly recurring, that too will be added to the table. So that's how you add measures. And then you have the graph view. So inside the graph view, you have three types of charts, which is the bar chart, line chart and pie chart. Okay, so that's the line chart and this is the pie chart. So for the graph view, you can choose only one measure at a time. So currently they've uh, chosen total and it shows total. If I'm changing it to margin, then the graph will be showing me the margin. Okay, so that's the different measures in case of graph. And then we have the activities. So for each activity, uh, I mean, uh, in activities, you can see the activities which are scheduled corresponding to a sale order. Okay, so you have email, call, meeting and all. And also you can find three different colors inside this. Okay, you have this green, yellow and red. So basically green refers to the activities which are scheduled for future, yellow for the ones which are to be done today and red denotes to the ones which are being expired. Okay, so if you want to, you know, um, schedule an activity you have different cells over there corresponding to a sale order and on top you can choose whatever activities it is 
so i'll show you how to schedule an activity so let it be a call or something so here we have call and corresponding to that sale order i'm creating a call okay you can see by default the activity type is call if you want you can change it from there so once it's done what you have to do you have an option to put summary the due date and also the assigned to and if you take a look at the bottom you have the option to open it in a calendar save it mark is done done and schedule next and also discard so i am saving it okay so yeah that's how you can schedule an activity over there and that's the things i mean those are the views which you have under quotation now if you take the orders menu yeah as i said before this is the quotation we have orders okay so that's orders for orders also you have these much views which are the list view the kanban view the calendar view the pivot view the graph view and also the activity okay so we have those things and for the sales team if you just take sales team are by default like a card like view so that's the only view which sales teams have and then you have the menu called customers which have two different views which is kanban and list view so this is the kanban view which is the card like view see card like view of each customer is given there and this is the list view of the customers now you have two invoice where you have orders to invoice so orders to invoice is also having different views like the list view and you have the calendar the graph pivot and also kanban and activity okay this much views you have for orders to invoice then you have orders to upsell for which also you have all these views which is list calendar graph pivot kanban and activity okay then you have products where you can you know choose products so for the products we have three different views which is kanban list and activity which is all given here so this is the list view this is the kanban view then you have product variants okay so for product variants you have things like list kanban and activity which is exactly the same as the products then you have price list for price list we have two different view list and kanban view okay and you have the discount and loyalty which by default has only list view and also for gift card and e wallet we have the same which is the list view next we have reporting where we have the sales or not so here you have sales analysis and only you have two kinds of view pivot and graph so under reporting section for each option you have the same so i'll just show you next you have the reporting by sales person where you have two views for products also you have list and pivot i mean graph and pivot and then for all the customer also you have the graph and pivot now under configuration you have the sales teams so sales team is by default list view then you have quotation templates which is also in list view shipping method which is also in list view you have the tags which shows only in list view and under products you have attributes which is also in list view and then you have the product categories which is in list view and then you have the online payment where you have payment providers which can be viewed in both kanban and the list view okay then you have the payment methods which can also be viewed in uh, list and kanban view and then you have unit of measure categories so for that we have the list view alone and finally you have the activity plans okay so which is also in lift i mean list view sorry so those are the different views which is provided by the uh, odoo 17 sales module yeah that's it so that was the different views uh, which you can find inside odoo 17 that too inside the sales module so thank you so much for watching i hope it's clear for you all see you in the next video